Hi everyone! Sorry I have to use my webcam, my camera died, and apparently I didn't have any charged batteries, so <laughs> I have to use this. And you can see like my little tripod, oh, which way? Yeah, that way. My little tripod back there and just ignore the mess in the background. It's really awful. Um, Tivo, stop. But I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, U.S. Nationals. First of all, I would, ugh, I'm really sorry about the shakiness, uh, I would like to say that I am super duper excited, Marilyn and Charlie won, I mean there wasn't really any question or doubt of it. Okay, I posted this on Marilyn and Charlie, or whatever it is, MarilynCharlie.com, I don't, there's like a slash or something, or like a, what are those things called, hyphen? I, I don't remember, but the website, you know. Um, you know what I'm talking about if you're a Marilyn Charlie fan. Um, I already like posted on there saying how much I am in love with Meryl's new short dance dress. I don't particularly care for like the design thing on it, but um, I'm loving the color and the fact that it looks like a metallic -y gold, you know, and I don't know, just the way the light hits it is amazing. Um, and it goes so much better with Charlie's shirt. Um, this is probably the way that like they, the combo that they had intended on the whole season. I don't know. That would be my guess considering his shirt's the way it is, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, love their short dance, love her new dress. I love the change in the ending that they did because I liked the, you know, like twisting around thingy that she did, like where she would step and twist and step and twist. Um, but like the ending pose was always just so awkward. Either like her hand was down around his like area um, <laughs> or she was like spread eagle and it just was not a cute ending pose. Um, so yeah, didn't care for that. But I like, I like the new ending pose. I think that's super cute and I like that one a lot more. So free dance was good. Um, I really enjoyed everything Marilyn and Charlie did. You know what? I think my favorite short dance of this entire season, though, is actually uh, Maya and Alex's short dance. I hadn't watched their short dance all season long, so apparently they weren't doing very well with it. But um, whatever changes they've made to it, I absolutely love their short dance. Now, I didn't find myself liking it more than Marilyn Charlie's whenever I watched it after the competition was over online on YouTube but whenever I was actually watching it on TV I liked Maya and Alex's short dance better than Marilyn Charlie's and I absolutely love Maya's dress I think it looks so cute on her fits her perfectly um, I really love her dress so oh yes uh, who were the third oh yeah Hubble and um her new partner. I don't even remember who he is. But I thought they did a good job. I, you know, I was pulling for Madison and Evan. Just sentimental reasons. But, um, I'm really pleased with who we're sending to Worlds as far as size stains goes. Um, ladies, man, first of all, I must say I love Ashley Wagner's free program. It is my favorite free program of the entire season. I love the movie uh, Black Swan. I, I am so in love with that music and I think what makes her long program so amazing is not as much her skating as it is her music. That music just draws you in, pulls you in, brings so much emotion out of you, or at least it does out of me, or at least it does me. Um, yeah, I, I so, I love that movie so much, and I was really excited whenever I heard she was going to be using, um, that music, and it, oh, it's just an amazing piece of music. Um, so Ashley finally, you know, pulled things together, and it wasn't a perfect program, but she did get the job done, and won her very first national title, so congratulations to her. Um, Alyssa, you know, even before Alyssa, like, she was still at the boards 
they hadn't even said her name yet or anything like that and you could just see this like sheer wash of panic all over her face I have no idea what was running through her head or anything but um, a person I was watching it with I told them I was like she's gonna choke with this program like she's gonna fall look at her face she is completely terrified right now she's going to mess up um, and you know sure enough she did I hate that she is like that you know because she is a gorgeous girl she creates beautiful beautiful long lines um, just a gorgeous looking skater out there but she I don't know she had it down for a while where you know the stuff up here wasn't affecting her but I don't know I, I know she was injured or ha either is injured was injured something like that and I guess she let that play with her mind or something I'm not sure but yeah I could tell even before she went out and took center ice that it was just not going to be a good night for her that she's not going to retain that title um Caroline Zhang I am so happy for that girl it is just the greatest thing ever to see someone who had so much potential when they were younger and such a good skater whenever they were younger to really take on the task of completely redoing themselves I mean she had to learn completely new techniques for her jumps and it's really starting to pay off for her and I'm so happy because she is such a beautiful skater she really feels the music very lyrical and artistic and now she's finally getting her elements to match that and it's just awesome I am so happy for her uh, who else is in there Rachel Flat. you know I've never really been impressed with Rachel um, she's just kind of flat to me <laughs> no pun intended no pun was intended um, Mariah that girl honestly I think the best thing that they can do for Mariah is get her a sports psychologist that she sees regularly and works with someone who is going to help her get into that mindset where she just completely blocks everything out focuses on what she has to do doesn't let anything affect her because if she can get that lock on her mind I mean she's a world champion if she can do that she is so talented beautiful skater if she does a clean program you're like oh my gosh that was amazing it she just really needs to get a lock on that mind and I think the best thing for her would to, would be to see a sports psychologist and I don't know if she might be seeing someone already right now um, I don't know what the deal is but I really think if she's going to continue to advance in this sport she either needs to learn how to control her mind on her own or she really needs to go see someone who can teach her things um, on how to control your thoughts and stuff like that and you know just get her brain under control because she is the only thing that is holding her, herself back really I mean she is basically out there competing against herself because she is better than any of those other girls if she can just throw it down and go out there and do what she is capable of doing so I was really I mean I was just heartbroken for her um because you know she doesn't want to go out there and do that she wants to do her best she wants to win it's just her brain <laughs> um and staying focused so yes if someone can please get this to Mariah or people she knows get that girl to a sports psychologist and someone who can really help her with mental toughness and focus so uh, that's it for the ladies I think I think um ouch but congrats to Ashley Tebow stop um pairs so I Katie Denny and um John Coughlin they did so great in their long program I thoroughly enjoyed it I was so excited for them I'm just really happy for them that they um, won I was so sad for Vora and Ladwig um ow <laughs> um Tifo's biting me that's what's happening um you know 
hopefully they can just continue to go at it and um, come back with great programs next year because I really do love uh, Amanda and Mark. Uh, Rockney and Mary Beth, I'm so excited to see what's to come for them. Um, yeah, I just see nothing but great things ahead for them. I absolutely love Rockney. I think he is like so good looking. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just excited to see what's ahead for them and excited to see how they do under pressure of the world, you know? So super excited for our pairs for worlds and ice dance. Um, I'm, I'm excited for the ladies portion just to see how those two do but um, I'm not really expecting a whole lot. Um, then men's. Okay. Adam Rapon. Ow. I'm sorry. Um, men's. Adam Rapon. I'm really happy for him that he was able to, you know, conquer those demons, as they were saying on TV. And he just, he did a really great job with his programs. I feel like he's one who should be going to Worlds. Um, I feel like both he and Jeremy are the ones that if you could just handpick out of there based on how you know they can skate and their potential, um, that they would be the two I would choose. But um, yeah, Adam was really enjoyable to watch, and Jeremy, if you did not see his long program, you really have to go look it up on YouTube right now. Like, I mean, even stop right now while I'm talking and go look it up on YouTube. I'm so excited for him. Like Scott said, I'm so excited for him that it wasn't perfect. So that way he still has stuff to work on and stuff like that. And, um, you know, he, he didn't peak at nationals like he did that one year. Um, but honestly, I felt like I was watching something just like amazing and incredible and just I don't even know how to explain it you just came away from his program feeling like you just watched something special he choreographed it himself <laughs> it was just a beautiful beautiful program and everything that I want from a men's program um, I was saying in my Canadian video how I like a men's program to look, you know, like a man's program, like masculine, like lyrical, but masculine, you know, and he did such a great job out there. His quad was breathtaking. Um, I'm just so impressed with how his long program was, and his short program was cute too. Um, I thought it had a lot of character to it, and I really liked that also. So I'm really excited. I hope that he does so good at Worlds. I, he has all the potential in the world, honestly. Like, he, I don't, it was, ugh, it's just an amazing long program. You really need to go watch it if you haven't. So those are my thoughts, just quick thoughts, because I'm trying to tame this wild beast right here. Um, and I need to get going. So yeah, those are my thoughts on uh, nationals. Let me know yours. And you know, I'll be doing Four Continents and Worlds too. So I'm really excited for both of those. I'm excited for everything um, that's coming up and just the potential potential in all the skaters that I see. So yeah, that's it. And I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.